Genshin finally released its Netland teaser trailer yesterday, which showcased the huge cast of upcoming characters in Netland. One of the particular characters that I'm sure caught most people's eyes would be Mavuika, who is speculated to be the Pyro Archon. After all, she definitely looks like Kimiko from the Honkai series, who people have actually already long speculated would be the Pyro Archon, similar to how Mei would be the Electro Archon. While it is still too early to say, I would like to discuss the possible kit for her in today's video. The earliest hint that we have at the moment can be seen through the elemental resonances. Based on the past Archon's kits, they usually will be related to the elemental resonance. After all, what's an Archon who can't benefit from their own resonance? Anyway, other than Animal, who has always been kinda weird, since Hoyo seemed to be still figuring out how to create characters at the start of the game, the other elements, mainly Geo, Electro, Dendro, and Hydro, have been quite faithful. For the Geo Resonance, which buffs shield strength, obviously benefits Songli, whose playstyle is primarily providing shielding to his team. For the Electro Resonance, which is related to energy recharge, saw that aspect being reflected in Raiden's kit, with her being the best energy battery in the game when she uses Elemental Burst. For the Dendro Resonance, which is based off of Elemental Mastery, has Nahida obviously playing off the element with her kit. For Hydro Resonance, which increases max HP, benefited Furina especially with her HP scaling mechanics from her skill and burst. With the Pyro Resonance, which increases the team's overall attack by 25%, we can assume that the Pyro Archon will also scale off attack and possibly provide an attack buff to the team that she is in, similar to what Bennett does. After all, Bennett isn't called the Pyro Archon so far for nothing. But well, now the real one is finally coming. As for the type of kit that she will have, based on the past trends, she will likely be a support or hybrid of DPS and support. As an Archon, Hoyo will definitely want to design her as a character that can be fit on multiple teams and benefit especially her own region's characters. For instance, Venti being the animal archon excels in crop control support. You can argue that he is power crept by Kazuha, but he is still the only character that can trap small enemies in his burst for a fairly long period of time. He is still great especially on floor 11 of the abyss. Zhongli is the best shielding support in the game and invaluable on many teams with squishy DPS characters. Raiden is the best energy recharge battery support and can also deal huge damage with a burst. Her best team is the national team which synergizes well with each other. Nahida is the best enabler and support for dendro reactions. So much so that as long as you want to deal dendro reactions, you'll definitely want to have Nahida on your team. Finally, Furina is the best character that can control HP to enable the strong Marachese Hunter set and buff damage. Furina's damage buffing capabilities excel as it is not limited to a single stat like on Bennett's attack buff. Rather, she buffs all sorts of damage which makes her a great fit on DPS teams. It is hence very likely that the Pyro Archon will also be a hybrid character, support and a DPS like Raiden. Because after all, she is the God of War. It is literally in the name. She can likely deal huge Pyro damage while she is also inspiring people in war. By, I don't know, buffing their attacks? That really seems the most likely. Perhaps a kit could also be one that increases the damage of pyro related reactions. This is honestly the most interesting aspect that I'm looking forward to. How the pyro archon will reshape the Genshin meta like how the other archons already have. Last but not least, the most definitive leak for the pyro archon's kit will come from when Netland is released and we'll get access to the pyro traveler. After all, so far, the Traveler's kit is sort of like a dumbed down version of the Archon's kit. For example, Animal's Traveler's Burst can do crowd control, Geo's create a geo structure for climbing or as weight, Electro's can restore energy,
Dendro's burst is similar to Nahida's, which has different changes when affected by Pyro, Hydro, or Electro. The only real different one is Hydro, which ends up being most like a dumbed down version of Nuvalet's kit. Because, spoilers, Nuvalet technically becomes the Hydro Archon after he got back his sovereign power. I really hope that we get to see the Pyro Traveler's kit soon, and please, please, please be good, because so far, the only good ones are Animal, Dendro, and Electro. So, do you agree with my speculations for the Pyro Archon? Which characters are you most excited for from the new trailer? Do let me know down in the comment section below. If you'd like to see which standard banner character is the most worth it to build, please click the video on the right. If you would like to see other Genshin Impact videos that I've made, please click the playlist on the left. Once again, thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye bye!